example, uh, an application for the cost Jordan elimination for solving the systems of linear equation. Okay, this time our uh, problem. For example, we have three circles that are tangent to each other externally. Center to center distances are 9 centimeters, 8 centimeters, and 7 centimeters. For example, we are required to determine the radii of these three uh, circles. But first, we need to set up our uh, equations. So, for example, this is the largest uh, circle, R1. So, the largest circle plus the medium circle, I think it will give us uh, the biggest sum, that is, we have 9 centimeters. Then we have, as we say, we have the largest circle, okay, this is R1 plus. As I say, I are the smallest circle is uh, for with a radius of uh, no, radius number three, R three. So that is plus the radius uh, number three. So the largest circle plus the radius of the smallest circle. Uh, let's say this is by the eight centimeters. Then we have radius number two plus uh, radius number three. That is the radius of the medium circle and the smallest circle that will give us the smallest sum. That is a uh, seven. So this, these are our uh, equations. So let us set up the uh, first. We have our augmented uh, augmented matrix. Okay, for the augmented matrix, we need the coefficients. So this is one, one. This is a zero. Then, okay, for the constants, we have a nine. Then we have this is one a zero. This is also one. This is 8, then this is, we don't have R1 here, so this is a 0, 1, okay, 1, then a 7. So this will be our okay, augmented circle. So we just need to have the reduced echelon form for the gauss jordan method. So for example, how do we eliminate this one? How do we eliminate the, uh, this uh, element? So we can have... So let's say we have the equivalent of uh, row number 2 will be, uh, let's say, uh, row number 2 minus row number uh, 1. So we are to uh, solve the difference of row 2 and uh, row 1. So that will be, uh, uh, row 1 will not be affected. So this is 1, 1, uh, 0. This is a uh, 9. The same with row number 3. This is 0, 1, I uh, 1, then. Uh, seven. So let us perform R2 minus R1. So what is 1 minus 1 will be 0. 0 minus 1 will be negative 1. 1 minus, this is 1 minus 0 is also 1. 8 minus 9 will be negative. Uh, 8 minus 9 is negative uh, 1. Okay, the next element to, uh, to be eliminated or to, uh, let's say, to make it a 0, this element. So how do we get that? Uh, value or how do we make this value to be a uh, zero? So we are transforming an element in the row three, which means row one and row two will remain. So we have this is one, one, zero, nine. Then we have this is a zero, negative one, one, negative one. All right. So we made. And uh, how to make this a uh, zero? Uh, wait. Let's say this is uh, row number 3 can be uh, this is row number 3 plus row number uh, row number 2. We are to add row number 3 and uh, row number 2. So let's have that is 0 plus 0 is the same as a 0. 1 plus negative 1 is 0. 1 plus 1 that will be equal to 2. Then 7 plus negative 1, that will be equal to a uh, positive uh, 6. Then we may uh, simplify this uh, matrix. Then this is 1, 1, uh, 0. We have 9. Okay, so we may uh, simplify the second row. We may, at uh, the second row, we are to multiply negative 1 to all elements. So we have row number 2, we have to multiply negative uh, 1. So 0 times negative 1 is 0, negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1, this will be negative 1, this is positive uh, 1. 
Then we may also, uh, for row number 3, uh, we are to divide all elements of row number 3 by 2, since they are both divisible by uh, 2. So we have 0 over 3 is 0, 0 over 3 is also 0. 2 divided by 2 is 1, 6 divided by 2 is uh, 3. So this is already the row actual form for the Gaussian elimination. But if you are to continue for the Gauss Jordan, okay, all we have to do is eliminate some of the elements above the uh, diagonal. So how do we eliminate this uh, element? Okay, so we may uh, do the row number 2 will be equal to uh, this is uh, row number 2 plus row number uh, 3. We are adding row number 2 and row number uh, 3. So this means uh, row number 1 will remain 1, 1, 0, 9. Then the same with row number 3, 0, 0, 1, and uh, 3. Okay, so we are to add row number 2 and uh, row number 3. We have 0 plus 0 is uh, 0. We have 1 plus 0 is 1. Negative 1 plus 1 is uh, 0. We have 3 plus 1 is positive uh, 4. And the last element to be eliminated to complete the Gauss Jordan elimination is this element. Okay, the one on the second row, second uh, column. So, how do we eliminate that? And we can have. So, we are uh, to change this element into 0. So, second row will remain 1, 0. This is 4, 0, 0, 1, okay, 3. So we may have row number 1 as the result of, let's say this is row number 1 minus row number uh, 2. So we have to get the difference of row 1 and uh, row 2. So we have, this is the 1 minus 0 is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. 0 minus 0 is also equal to 0. We have 9 minus 4 is equal to uh, 5. So this completes the my Gauss Jordan elimination. As you can see, if you have to answer the questions, uh, the question, what are the radii, or the radii, yes, the radii of these three circles? Okay, from that matrix, or the method matrix, 1, 0, 0, this is 5, this is 0, 1, 0, 4, we have 0, 0, 1, uh, 3. So this is for the radius number 1, radius number 2, radius number uh, 3. So R1 is the 5 centimeters. Then we have radius number 2 is okay, the 4 cm and radius number 3 is equal to okay, 3 centimeters. Okay, so these are the uh, radii of, this three, of, or the, of the three circles.